Good afternoon and welcome to the Lincoln Church broadcast. Host is Pastor Houston Creighton Jr. Indeed, it is a great pleasure and privilege to be for you on, on another Sunday uh, as we uh, in our tradition say this is the day that the Lord has made. We will, will rejoice and be glad in it. I could preach on that every message because you don't have a day unless God gives it to you. And we've um, been in a season of grieving. We lost loved ones, uh, uh, family to family. For some uncanny reason, we have fi been finding ourselves at funerals and homegoing services. So we appreciate the time that we have. And in our appreciation, we always like to uh, reference that scripture. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. This is a grand opportunity. And I want to remind you that on Good Friday, we have a, a wonderful service. Uh, 38 years we've been doing uh, the seven sayings of Christ at Lincoln Church Ministries. When I first came to the church, uh, the first thing I did that year was to have the seven last sayings of Christ, which has been our tradition over the years. The word is always uh, timely. And uh, this is our 38th year doing this, and we have some great expositors of the gospel, commentators on Calvary coming Good Friday, and our lunch will be supplied. We have um, uh, Deacon Campbell, Sister Stocks, and whatever group. I, I didn't want them cooking because we, we are over 45 now. And um, but we will have a nice take-home lunch. I don't know if the Sister Math will be on it or not. But we will have a take-home lunch uh, for that day so people don't have to rush and have lunch, uh, worry about eating. Uh, we plan on having a high time in the Lord on Good Friday. And on next Sunday, we'll be at St. John Baptist in the afternoon for their uh, missionary service slash Palm Sunday service, and we'll be representing here from Lincoln Church. I'll be the guest speaker at that time. And so our, our schedule is full. We're in the, the holiest season of the year, of the death and the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And we're going to be focused uh, word-wise on that the entire month, right into the day of Pentecost. We thank you all so much for your physical participation. Some people find it uh, c convenient and uh, uh, to uh, continue to watch uh, uh, virtually. And some people um, uh, have not yet uh, become comfortable with this so-called uh, COVID mentality. And, and after that, being closed down for a couple of years because of a celebrated flu, that's what it is, celebrated flu, COVID. Now that we're back, people are still what they call in the military, gun shy. <laughs> and they don't wanna quite get back in. But I thank God for those who come out brave it by all means, wear your mask and so forth, if that's your way of prevention. Uh, I'm a shot person myself. I've had every shot known to man concerning that infirmity. 
So, and some do both. So it's all good, and we thank God for you. We're going to start out service. We're not going to take up your time. I'm going to have uh, Deacon uh, Brewster uh, to give us our prayer of invocation. Then we'll go right into our service. Let the church say amen. Good afternoon, Lincoln. Good afternoon. God is a good God, amen? Amen. amen. It's a true love day that he has made. And we should never, ever take it for granted when he wakes us up in the morning, amen? Amen. amen? Let us go before the throne of grace. Father God, we thank you, O oh God, for allowing us to come before the throne of grace once more, O oh God. We thank you, Father, for the gift of another day, O oh God. We thank you, Father, for what you do in our lives, O oh God. We just thank you, Father, for all you do for us, Lord. Lord, you gave us life and strength this morning, Lord. Thanking you, God, for waking us this morning, O oh God. Thanking you, Father, for allowing us, Father, to arrive at the church, Father, safe. We just thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Father, for Lincoln Church today, Lord. Thank you, Father, for our brothers and sisters, O oh God, that attend and assemble themselves with other believers, O oh God. We thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy, O oh God. We thank you, Father, for being a God that you are, O oh God. For you, God, are a God of peace, O oh God, a God of love, O oh God. You are a God that sits high, Lord, and looks low, Father. So thank you, O oh God, for doing these things, O oh God. Realizing, O oh God, that without you, we're nothing, O oh God. Without you, O oh God, we will have nothing, Father. So God, thank you, O oh God. Now, Father, we. Lift up our past and first lady to you this morning, God. Strengthen who are weak, God. Build who are torn down, Father. We pray for our leaders today, oh God. We pray for the ministries, for the people, for the, for the families, oh God, that assembling here today, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you just send your word down, oh God. Bless the one, Father, that's going to present your word, oh God. Father, we ask, oh God, that your word will penetrate, Father, in the hearts of those that hear, oh God. We thank you, Father, for allowing us, Father, to come, O oh God. Father, let your word, O oh God, penetrate, Father, that it may be an inspiration and an encouragement for everyone, O oh God. So, Father, just thank you, O oh God, for your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in the house one more time. Glory to God. On this holy month, we say, we're going to lift his name up high because he came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay. Amen. If you don't mind, you can put your hands together. Say, Lord. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. Say it again. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh, yeah. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're in my life.
up the name of Jesus. Lift 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 him a little bit higher. Lift him a little bit higher. Lift him a little bit higher. afternoon's text is coming from Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 through 12. Philippians 2, 6 through 12. Somebody say amen. amen. And the Bible says, who, being in very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow 
in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In verse 12, therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in the absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. This is the word of the Lord. Somebody say thank you. All right, come on and bless us again, praise singers. Aren't you glad we're under the blood? Are you thankful for the blood? Come on now, if you're thankful, just give God a hand clap. The blood, we said the blood still works, but now we just know that we are under the blood. My past and my future, under the blood, amen. Because yeah. of the blood of Jesus. 